What's going on guys, my name is Chronic and today I'm bringing you guys my updated roster on NCAA Ultimate Team 14, yeah. But yeah, I'm bringing you guys an updated roster. I did reach a 99 overall team, as you see it's a 97, but I'll get into that later. You see my run offense here, I'm not going to go card by card. I will go card by card, but I'm not going to read and explain why I got it. I just don't want this video to be extremely long sorry I'm blazing through these cards but they're very nice cards but the gold cards right here these two were very expensive along with the fullback is expensive at time but I picked them up for around 9k and these two cards went around 20k at times I picked them up for 15k a piece so that was pretty nice these center um D center low but this center right here runs around 10k and he's amazing i've pulled him like three times which is kind of sad i wish i pulled other cards but i mean whatever free 10k and right tackle i bought him for around 11k all the elite cards are surprisingly cheaper than these two gold cards it's whatever halfback we got darren mcfadden this monster right here just trucks everyone to the ground look at those stats oh 96 speed, carry 91, just amazing. And that's pretty much it for my pass offense right there, guys. Moving on to my... No, that was run offense. Moving on to my pass offense, we got Braylon Edwards. Braylon, whatever. I'm sorry, Michigan fans, don't kill me if I slaughtered his name. You see that monster of a car, runs around 19k, which is pretty decent. Crabtree... His price goes up and down a lot. I picked him up for around 11k. He runs around sometimes 10k, 20k, whatever k. Johnson I picked up for a snag 20k. I mean, I don't think he's going for that much anymore, but at the time it was a pretty good snag. He was running around 30k and people were actually paying for him. And right now he's at the block for like around 25k, so I mean, it's whatever. I really like this car. I was going to get Randy Moss, <clears throat> excuse me, but Randy Moss runs around 40k and I'm not going to waste 40k on one receiver. Next we got Vernon Davis for our tight end. I have the elite one, I had both the elite ones, but I really like Vernon Davis better. Look at that speed man, 94 speed for a tight end, that's, that's crazy. Then we got Cam Newton as our quarterback. I mean, I've been rocking with Cam since Mutt, so basically, you know, he had to be my quarterback for NCAA Ultimate Team. And th this is where I lose my 99 overall team due to the fact that he is a 94. Watch, you see I put, <clears throat> sorry about that. I put Charlie in and bam, 99 team, but sadly they don't have a 95 card of him. If not, I would have put him and had a 99, but I mean, it's whatever, dude. They're just going to take away two points for my QB, and I mean, I'm happy with that. It's not my team failing in any other position, just the QB, it's whatever. It really doesn't matter. Back in Cam, I got Ward and Tebow. Tebow in this game, dude, is amazing. Everyone climbs on him on the NFL, in the NFL. But in college, he was a good quarterback, in my opinion, pretty nice. So he still has a pretty nice card. He also has a legend card that I want to acquire. If I acquire that, I might replace Cam. Not sure. Me and Cam have a bond, so I don't know how that's going to work out, man. But I have yet to see the card on the block. If I saw it on the block, I would have picked it up because I had around 150k, 200k, but now I'm 32k. Because I always build my team first before I move into saving up money on Mutt. So that's pretty much why I'm pretty much pro at the moment. Right here, you see we got our defensive front. We got Mario Williams. You have Mario Williams at left end. D tackle, we have this reward that we got from our first pack. We got it from one of the free packs, and he plays pretty nice. I mean, it does what a D tackle is supposed to do. He can't A gap, so no point in that. Or I haven't found a way to A gap, probably. Pro A gappers out there, Shifty Swifty already got A gaps on lockdown. Whatever. Julius Peppers for a right end. Second D tackle is P. Jerry. What's his name? Peria. I'm sorry if you're his fan and I just slaughtered his name. I'm not really. I wasn't really into college football until I started watching last year. 
because I forgot who I was watching the Sugar Bowl with Car the Cardinals and Florida Gators, and I really got into the game. And then after that, I watched like each other of the bowls out there, and they, they were good. Oh, I'm looking forward to this year to start watching more, etc., etc. Left outside linebacker, we got Jarvis Jones. Jarvis Jones, pretty self-explanatory. Just a monster. Just a monster. Manti Teo, man. Where's your girlfriend at? Just kidding. Sorry, Manti Teo fans. Beast of a middle linebacker right here. And Laurinaitis, but I put Manti to start because, I mean, he's forced so many fumbles for me, so he's earned that spot, in my opinion. And then we got the right outside linebacker award to Rel Suggs. He was going for 40k. I'm pretty sure he's around 20k now. Pretty cheap. I picked, I didn't even buy him. I got him in one of the packs. First packs I opened for this game. So moving on to our diff Oh, this is just disgusting. Look at this. Whoa. This is the award one. He's not going for much, but I mean, look at Champ Bailey. Patrick Peterson. Ed Reed. Someone, Mark Barron. Whoa. I said someone. Mark Barron. Best safety you could get on NCAA that I found. I was going to pick up Palomalu, but he's, I think he get the, he has better stats than Palomalu. That's why I picked him up. I might pick up Palomalu because, I mean, look at, if you haven't seen his card, I tweeted it a while back, but it's pretty, pretty nice, man. He's growing out that, that hair he had. Back when he was a Trojan. Backing these three receivers up is my fourth cornerback, Terrell Revis. Oh my god, dude. These, I, don't, I like my corners out of most of my team. Cam, you have number one. The quarters have number two. Look at, I love my defensive secondary, dude. Like, this is the one thing I'm actually really, really feel like it's pretty much unstoppable. I mean, it is um, it is stoppable, but I just really like the collection of these amazing corners. And that's pretty much it for my defensive secondary. Moving on to specialist, Janikowski, dude. 99 kick power. He was just a beast, I guess, in college as he was in the NFL. Scoring them 60-yard field goals and stuff. Mm-hmm. Ted Ginn, dude. Look at that. Look at that speed. You just earn your spot at kick returner and punt returner with that speed. Can't tell you how many punts and kicks I've returned for six with Ted, with Teddy, Theodore, Teddy, Teddy. Janikowski kickoff starter. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Long snap. We got our center. Then we have Nick Harris for our punter from Cal, California. Got to rep that Cali. Pretty much the best punter I think I've seen on the block. Andy Lee is like short one kick power to him. So, I mean, it's whatever. And that's pretty much it. Running Oregon, Oregon, whatever. I call them Oregon, but people like Oregon Ducks. I'm mean, like, whatever. <sighs> Got the stadium rocking the white jerseys and the black jerseys, dude. I actually did the challenge to get the black jerseys because, I mean, Oregon, in my opinion, has some of the best uniforms out there. I really like their uniforms. I like their play style, etc. Running the Alabama playbook on offense, 4-3 on D. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much my roster in a whole. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Look forward to more NCAA videos. Also, remember to subscribe for that Madden 25 content early. I'm hoping I could get it early. Release some sick videos for you guys. But thanks for watching again. All the support on my videos. It's just amazing, dude. I get so many nice PMs, tweets, comments. Just like saying thanks for the videos. Your videos are amazing. And that really motivates me to put out more videos. So, thanks, guys. Yeah, and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Until next time, thanks for watching.